Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Everywhere. Today we have a fascinating topic to discuss, Moya Moya disease. But before we dive in, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our health-related content. So what exactly is Moya Moya? Well, let's break it down in simple terms. Moya Moya is a Japanese term that literally translates to puff of smoke. It describes an intriguing vascular condition affecting the brain's blood vessels. It's like a network of abnormal, dilated and irregular collateral vessels that form secondary to progressive occlusion of the supraclinoid ICAs in the brain. Moya Moya represents an idiopathic, non-inflammatory, non-atherosclerotic progressive arteriopathy primarily involving the terminal supraclinoid internal carotid arteries, often progresses to circle of willis, including the proximal anterior and middle cerebral arteries, and occasionally the posterior circulation, typically the basilar tip. These are critical blood vessels that supply the brain. As they become narrower and eventually blocked, the body's response is to create these puff-of-smoke collateral vessels. Moya Moya is primarily observed in patients from Japan and the Pacific Rim. It's like a geographical hotspot for this condition. It has bimodal age distribution, first in early childhood around 4 years and second peak around 30 to 40 years of age. Clinical presentation may include symptoms due to hemispheric ischemic strokes or watershed infarcts. But what happens when Moya Moya progresses further? Well, in advanced cases, we see an extensive development of dural leptomeningeal and pile collateral circulation. These are basically backup routes for blood flow in the brain. These characteristic vascular changes can be spotted on imaging tests like magnetic resonance angiography, MRA, or computed tomography angiography. CTA. Small, abnormal, net-like vessels proliferate, giving the characteristic puff-of-smoke appearance on direct angiography. And on MRI scans, you might notice associated infarcts, typically in what we call the border zones. Cerebral hemorrhages can be seen among adults. It gets interesting. A moya moya like pattern can also be found in other medical conditions that result in an occlusive vasculopathy. These conditions include intracranial vasculitis, sickle cell disease, post-varicella arteriopathy, previous radiotherapy, Down syndrome, congenital heart disease, or type 1 neurofibromatosis. So there you have it, folks, a brief overview of Moya Moya disease. It's a unique vascular condition with fascinating diagnostic features. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging radiological content. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay curious and stay healthy.